Hey guys, Bruce here. Hope you're all doing well out there. So you're looking at my Harbor Freight welding helmet. One of the cheapest auto darkening helmets that uh, Harbor Freight sells. This particular one is about six years old. Now about a year ago I had problems with the original batteries dying in this and I went in there and I went through the trouble of soldering in a new set of batteries and they're still working fine but I've recently saw a couple of videos with guys on uh, YouTube that are making some modifications to these older helmets that do not have easy replaceable batteries. Now if you're going to do this, you know, do it at your own risk. This is just how I'm going to do it for my particular helmet. Remember these things protect your eyes so you want to make sure that uh, you're doing everything you can to uh, keep yourself from getting your eyes burnt from UV rays. Now if you read down here, at least on this helmet, that UV and IR protection up to 16 at all times with the helmet, whether the darkening or not is working. If the darkening stops working, this will still protect your eyes from IR and UV, infrared and UV. And the UV is the dangerous one, the one that I understand is what burns your eyes. You may, you may see spots if the uh, darkening doesn't work, but my understanding is you're not going to burn your eyes. This is a pretty easy helmet to take this plate out. The first thing is just pop the front shield off of there. This just snaps in and snaps out. It's got four catches on it. This is how you would replace your shield if you need to. This is my original one and it's it's kind of scratched up, but it's actually not in too bad a shape for being six years old. And this screen is going to come out the front. Once you undo, there's a little catch right here. But first you got to take this knob off and it just pulls off of there. Now this one I broke this arm off of here that holds this little potentiometer for the auto darkening. So it's been glued once before. Okay there we go. And then it just comes out the front. So this is what you've got. Now I've had this one open before. So I've got a bunch of marks here where I took the small flathead screwdriver and just pried these pieces apart. Now I did not glue it back together so it should come apart pretty easy. I think after I finish this modification I will glue it back together. And then this piece with the potentiometer has a couple of wires on it. So you kind of got to be careful that you don't break those wires. So you can see I've got the two batteries and I've I've soldered these in and that was really difficult to do. It's kind of risky as well if you're soldering on these little batteries. If you get it too hot it could pop that battery. So I don't recommend doing that. If you can see it's got two leads. One coming out the that side and one coming out this side. And one touches the bottom of the battery and one touches the top. When I desolder both of these tabs I'm going to mark on that paper in there which one's positive which one's negative. And then I'm going to solder in a couple of small wires on each side and then use one of these. Now I bought these off of Amazon, coin cell battery holders. You can get them off of eBay or off of Amazon. Some are plastic, some are nice. These are actually kind of nice. I spent $11 for these and I'll leave a link for these in the description if someone watches this and decides that you may want to try this. It's just a little holder for a one of those flat little little batteries like what's in this uh, darkening unit. Then it's got a couple of positive and a couple of negatives. These particular ones are on a like a circuit board but I bought two. One will hold each battery and then uh, easily accessible. These have a little on off switch. Little tiny micro on off switch. So I can actually turn these off when I'm not using the helmet. I don't know if the solar will charge it if I turn them off. It may not. Those other batteries last me five years in this helmet. So this will be real easy to replace. Let's see what I can do here. So I'm going to try to desolder one side here. I 
Well, that was pretty easy. Okay, it looks like this side is the positive and the side with the button is the negative. And those were real difficult to get soldered on there. So I don't I definitely don't uh, recommend that method. Okay, so I got a little piece of tape showing my plus and minus for this side. And we'll do the same for the other side. Put this piece of tape on this side. I think these are three volt batteries. Yeah, three volts. So I just need to solder these wires red on the positive, black on the negative. Make them maybe three or four inches long. I'm going to cut this in half. So let me do all that and then I'll show you what it looks like and what I've got to done at that point. I'm working out here in the garage and my furnace just turned on. I'm only a few feet away from the furnace so hopefully that's not messing up the audio too bad. So black on the negative. And red on the plus. Just like welding, you want to try to keep your head out of those fumes. Don't be leaning right over the top of this or have a small fan or something on. All right, that'll get that side. See if I can get it closer, you can get a better shot. I wanted to show you before I put this case back together, I got the uh, wires soldered on there as you saw. And then what I've done is hot glued the wires down just to that wax paper there just to hold them in place and give them some strain relief and then when I put this top back on I drilled a couple of holes in it one on this edge and one on that edge so those wires are going to come up through those holes I can't put them out the side like I was originally going to do because there can't be anything sticking past the edge Otherwise, it won't go back into the helmet. So let me get this put back together. I'm going to glue this top back on. Probably just hot glue it in three or four spots just to hold it together. So if I have to get back in there, it's going to be pretty easy to do. And then uh, I'll be ready to go ahead and solder my, my two uh, battery holders on there. And then I'm going to use some double-sided tape. 3M stick tape. It's good stuff. I'll leave a link to that also down in the description. It's good for all kinds of stuff. And uh, I'm going to put those battery holders right here on the back of this unit. I've got a slow and fast switch here I need to avoid covering up. And then I'll just put these two right there side by side and then cut my wires down and solder them on there. So this whole unit would just be an individual unit I can take out, put in the helmet if I need to for whatever reason. But I think that'll work out pretty nice. So here's that 3M tape that I was talking about. I just barely have enough left here to, to get this done. So I'm just going to cut a couple of strips. And put it on the back. Of each one of these and then I think I want them just like this so the battery comes in from the from the top this helmet is 46092 is the item number on this particular helmet. I just want to make sure I have room to connect the wires to both both of them. Something like that and then these can be removed if I have one that goes bad or something like that. But they'll just sit right there on the back and then I'll Bring my wires over, cut them to the proper length, and get them soldered. Then I'm going to tin the 
wires here. Solder the wires on. Just make sure I get them lined up properly here. All right, positive and negative. Okay, they look good. Put some batteries in and try it. There is the final product. Got the batteries in there. Now these, you have to be real careful of these negatives. You gotta smash that wire flat and solder it down as flat as you can, otherwise you won't be able to slip your battery in there. I had to do, redo them both just to make that as flush as I possibly could. But then you can get the batteries in, no problem. I've got it turned on, hopefully at an angle that you can see. And I just have a Bic lighter. You can see it actually working. If I flick that lighter, you can see it darkening. I think you can see that. So it looks like we're in good shape. We'll get that put back into the helmet. Saw a video where a guy just wrote a little note inside his helmet with a grease pen or something telling him to remember to turn them on and turn them off. So that's the drawback. Or I could just leave them on and see how long the batteries last. Goes okay once you get it lined up. So there you go. Real easy to get to. Change out the batteries. I just have to remember to turn them on and turn them off. That's going to be the big thing, remembering to do that. One last test. Yep, it's working. Nine to 13, there we go. All right guys, thanks for joining along. If you like the video, you like this type of content, give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, I'd appreciate your subscription, appreciate you watching the video and we'll see you on the next one.